Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and install an SSL certificate using GoDaddy. This video does assume that you have your domain and a managed WordPress hosting account also both set up with GoDaddy. If you're hosting somewhere else or your domain is registered with another company, these instructions are going to be slightly different, but this is assuming that you have everything purchased with GoDaddy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log into our GoDaddy account. Make sure that you're on your My Products page. And scroll on down, you should have SSL certificates down here. There shouldn't be anything listed here yet. It should just say Standard SSL. And click the Setup button. This drop-down list will list all of the different SSL certificates that you have purchased under this GoDaddy account. Since we only have one here, there's only one option to choose in the drop-down. You may have multiple options. Just choose the one that you'd like to use. And go ahead and click Setup. Now when you come back to your My Products page, under SSL Certificates, this will look a little bit different. It'll say New Certificate. Now it's ready to be set up and installed on a domain name. So go ahead and click the Manage button. Because we're hosting our domain with GoDaddy, GoDaddy makes it really simple for us. We can choose Select a Domain Hosted With Us. And here's the only domain we have. So just go ahead and choose the domain in your list. If you're hosting multiple websites with GoDaddy, you'll see them all in this dropdown. Just choose the one that you want to install the SSL certificate for. One of the final steps before we can request this certificate is we have to prove that we own the domain. The way that GoDaddy does that is they're going to send an email to whoever the email address is listed for for the account owner. So this is typically something that is entered when you purchase a domain name, you put in an email address, and that will be used as the contact. So make sure that you have access to that or you can talk to a client or someone who you can get to confirm and verify that they do own that domain. So GoDaddy will send an email to them and they'll need to follow the instructions in that email. And make sure that you agree to the terms and conditions and go ahead and click Request Certificate. Now we land on a progress page. You'll see that the verification progress is 50% complete. We need to follow the instructions in the email that we received in order to prove domain ownership. So right now we are pending verification. As soon as we follow those instructions in the email and confirm that we own the domain, we can finish setting up the SSL. You'll want to give GoDaddy about an hour just to get everything set up. Then you can return to your My Products page, come back down to SSL Certificates. You should see the new certificate that you created with the domain name that you assigned it to right here. Go ahead and click Manage. On this screen, you can just confirm that your SSL was issued. Under Status, it will say Certificate Issued, and that means that everything is set up and ready to go. One of the final steps is to come back into your WordPress site, so you go to your admin area. Go to Settings, General, and here you'll see the WordPress URL and the site address URL. GoDaddy actually updates these for you. Just in case they don't, make sure that you change from HTTP to HTTPS. That will tell all of the pages on your website to use the SSL certificate and load securely. And finally, just to confirm that your website is working properly using the new SSL certificate, you can browse to your website but put HTTPS in the URL and just make sure that everything loads up correctly. You'll also want to make sure that you have a green lock icon up here. That means that all elements on the page are loaded securely. Sometimes you'll see a lock that isn't green, that may be broken, and that means that the site is using the SSL, but there might be some images or other pieces of content on your website that is not being served up over SSL. We'll cover how to fix those in another tutorial. I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions or any challenges setting up an SSL certificate with GoDaddy, please leave your comments below.